Hi, Brett from Brits Designs. Today I'm going to show you a really cool, fun 3D printed project. I call them SpeakerBot. And SpeakerBot is made from uh, 3D printed materials. It's five and a quarter car audio speaker with a speaker terminal input. And the cool thing about him is he's got movable legs and he can sit on a bench. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So the idea of SpeakerBot is he just gives a new twist to traditional bookshelf speakers. As you can see, he can kind of sit on a table. You can move his legs around. You can put him in all sorts of positions, dress him up, do whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put plans on my Etsy page. Some of you may be familiar with that. And what the plans entail, I'm going to do it two ways. One is you'll get these documents here. One is a bill of materials, and then you have some assembly instructions for how to assemble the speaker bot. You'll also get in the files included in this, which are plastic for a 3D extruded type style printer, or a powder, which is for the powder type or epoxy style 3D printers as well. But the two... The difference between the two purchased items on the Etsy page is you'll either get just the printed plans or and the digital files, or I'm going to also offer it as a kit. So if you want to go ahead and purchase the kit, you'll have all the hardware required to assemble the speaker bot, and uh, either way is fine. The plans, the bill of materials, will all show exactly what hardware you need and the part numbers and where to buy them. Otherwise, if it's just easier to buy the kit for me, that's, that's fine, and I'll go ahead and send you the kit with the uh, digital files all associated with that. So as an example, this is a powder style, this is an extruded style uh, material, and then this is a powder style, which is a, uh, it's really more of like a plaster of Paris type 3D printer, and it builds it up that way rather than the extruded plastic material. So the way to approach this project is you need to think about it as building a model, you know, like a car model that maybe when you were a kid you used to assemble. And this is very similar. So in this particular case, this plastic part right here, what you would end up doing is getting an insert uh, such as this, which is a plastic insert, and you would install it using a soldering iron. And that's a pretty typical method for prototype plastic materials in order to get a threaded uh, feature into the plastic part. So you'd take your soldering iron, you would uh, heat that insert up and it would just form the plastic around. And so now if you're using the powder or epoxy style 3D printer, those plans would have a different hole diameter for the insert. And the reason being is that that insert in that material won't deform like they would in the plastic material. And so you install these using super glue and that would bond quite nicely to the powder at that point. So just a quick note on the speaker itself. So like I mentioned previously, this is a five and a quarter car audio speaker. I chose a Boss, which is a relatively inexpensive car audio speaker, but you can do any, you know, they make uh, five and a quarter car audio speakers pretty much out of any name brand. And so if you wanted a higher quality because you wanted to really use these for a long-term purpose or a nice quality sound, um, you can buy a Kicker or a Pioneer or a, a name your brand. It's they have all those versions out there. So possibly some of the questions I might get is why use the car audio speaker instead of a home audio since I'm really intending this for, to be for home audio use. And the reason being is that the car audio already comes with a crossover involved. It's already at least a two-way depending on the brand that you receive. So you have a woofer and at least a tweeter. This happens to be a three-way so you'd have a mid-range. Crossover is already included. You don't have to deal with any of the crossover points on that speaker. It's a four ohm speaker, which is stable for home audio equipment. And so you're basically running the wire directly from the speaker input directly to the speaker. And that's all you have to do. Secondly, it also comes with this nice face plate. All car audio will come with some type of grill and that way you don't have to worry about any type of cover over the front of it. So as an example, you can see the old speaker bots hanging out in my very dirty shop. And, uh, you know, they had kind of a cool feature to it. There's the other guy sitting on top of my other speaker, getting ready to jam out. I would uh, go ahead and demo the sound for you, but, you know, you're not going to hear something, any, anything incredible. It's going to be pretty bad audio quality through a video camera and back through uh, YouTube. So. so, I hope you'll give SpeakerBot a try. He's a lot of fun to design. Hopefully you'll have a lot of fun building him. And uh, hope to see you next time for the next project. Talk to you later.